Uh, I'm Jane Ellison, I'm the Conservative Member of Parliament for Battersea, uh, so I'm the Constituency Member of Parliament for the Armour family, and obviously uh, the constituency where Shaka Armour last lived in the UK. I think it was very helpful, I mean it's the first time we've had a chance to, at, at some length and substantively, put a lot of facts on the record, uh, that it's just not possible to do in short questions and interchanges in um, Foreign Office questions for example. Um, and I was pleased to see that the Minister had nearly half an hour to respond and was able to take a lot of interventions. And again, that's the advantage of a debate uh, versus sort of questions. In a debate there is interplay and you can push people rather on point. So I think it was very helpful to get so much on the record. And actually there were a few important nuggets of information in the Minister's response that I took some heart from. Well, I think... I I think people still recognise, and in a way it's heartening, people still recognise, have faith in the fact that parliamentary democracy you know, remains our best way of bringing important issues uh, into public prominence. Um, so I think people take hope from the fact that even after 11 years, um, that this case uh, and the situation Shakarama finds himself in is not forgotten by the British Parliament uh, and instead has actually had its longest airing ever. Uh, within the British Parliament. I mean, we've got a long way to go because ultimately he's being held by the US, not the UK. Um, but I think that actually the way these things work, uh, the debate will have helped ministers to be able to say to their counterparts in America, um, this issue is not going off the agenda. Uh, it's, you know, not, it's not going away quietly. We have to resolve this because we have pressure within our parliamentary system to resolve it. Well, we're going to reflect on what was said in today's debate. I think uh, I've just been talking to some of the campaigners here about the fact that I think that uh, I think we need to think a little bit about how we get some of these important points about Britain's ability to uh, manage uh, returning uh, prisoners from Guantanamo and, and our excellent track record. I think we have to try and get some more of that into the mainstream of American public opinion. I'm not sure that's fully understood. Um, so I think we're going to think quite hard about how that might be done, whether there are people in America who can help to publicise that. And again, that's where having quite a long, substantive debate uh, gives us a chance to put those things in the public record, and that gives then others a chance to publicise it further. Well, I'm grateful to all the campaigners who've worked so hard to get the 100,000 signatures. It's actually quite a good vindication of this government's e-petitions procedure, actually. Uh, that, you know, it, it shows people that actually when, you know, that when you get a lot of public interest in something, the Parliament will schedule it better and quickly, you know, within 10 days of the petition reaching the 100,000. Uh, so it should pe give people heart that some of these systems, you know, do work. Um, obviously we can't make, wave a magic wand, we can't immediately make what we want to happen happen. But it has given us a platform on which to build uh, that's a far more substantial platform than we've had before. And it has got into the official record, uh, and it will always be there now, um, some of these important legal points and some of these important uh, assurances that we believe Britain can make to our ally, the United States, about our uh, preparedness and uh, proven ability to manage safely a returning prisoner from Guantanamo Bay. Well, you know, as I highlighted in my contribution and others did in theirs, I mean, there remains conflicting reports about his health and uh, the, the fact that they're conflicting is worrying and the nature of many of the reports is very worrying. Um, I think it was interesting to hear the response on the International Committee of the Red Cross. Um, I will obviously circulate the reply I get with regard to whether the ICRC has seen him and made an independent assessment. Um, but beyond that, we are left to believe the assurances were given. But again, um, having the issue debated so prominently, um, I think is helpful in making sure that, you know, were there any temptation to make bland and substantiated uh, reassurance that actually they need to be substantiated. Because again, the eyes of an important allies parliament are on this situation.